In our industry, and especially at the Comcast Arena at Everett, we have multiple, basically 25 different mini businesses going on at one time. People ask what I do in, in, in quick words. I say I sell hot dogs and beer, but it's far, far more than that. I, I employ over 125 staff with many different backgrounds. We can do up, upwards of 300 plus events a year. We have got a very dedicated staff which plan or react to ever-changing situations. I was born and raised in Greater Seattle area. I graduated high school from the east side, then had an opportunity to go out of state and explore other opportunities in which I had started a small business, then eventually sold that business and had some downtime. My brother, who is also in the food and beverage industry, had telephoned me during the inaugural season of the Silver Tips requesting that I give some uh, support during the playoff season. I paused for a second, I asked, when do I come? He said, tomorrow. I said, how long do I pack for? He said, pack for a week. Don't know how long this is gonna take. At that time, it was my introduction to food and beverage and basically I've never looked back since. It's like having an old car. Sometimes you just, you keep getting in it every day and you love it, it feels comfortable. And then all of a sudden one day you pull up next to a, a nice brand new car and you look at that and you say, wow, that's, that's something really pretty cool and that's what I want. I have the ability to make that car what I want it to be. As I've noted, I, I walk around with just eyes looking. I always look, I, so often I stop at one location, look at the six, 10 staff members in there and see what can I do to really enhance that stand? What change do I feel or I've heard or what is trending? I'm always trying to vision the next best. And I believe that it's because I am engaged. I go up to our guests, I talk to our guests, I jump in a stand, I work a cash register, I try to keep, basically as you say, ear to the ground. The lights never go off for me in concessions and in food and hospitality. We just always want to be evolving. What's the next best thing? There's nothing better to eat great food. And from a concession side, we believe that we should provide upscale restaurant experiences in a, in a hospitable environment. In the arena, we've got Hewitt's Diner, MVB Beers, we've got a made-to-order steak sandwich, we've got the ice box, we've got Habanero's Mexican fine food, we've got Shanghai Walk, we've got Bucatini and Oleo made-to-order pasta, Northwest Corks, Perks Coffee, Surf and Turf, and that's just to name the arena on the concessions. We've got 21 premium suites, and then we go to the other side of the facility, the conference center, D. Hanson Conference Center, with 10,000 plus square feet of banquet and catering space to up to a thousand guests in a reception style. We really wanted to give to the guests, was something that you don't get when you go to other arenas. The Arena Grill is a, an amazing space. Recently I had the opportunity to basically remodel a whole restaurant. You know, it bears the name Arena Grill and we've got a huge sign that uh, projects into the arena and people want to go there and dine on some great food. The restaurant itself, it has the seating capacity of nearly 100 people, full service bar, multiple TVs, memorabilia of past events, and it just provides a, just another great area to view the game from, while dining from your seat. When the doors finally open, hearing that call on the radio saying, doors are open and basically it's showtime. And we plan, we plan, we plan. And basically when that, when that call comes across the radio, it's, it's, uh, it's showtime. And it, we, we strap them on and pull them up and, and we, we hope for the best.